Street rotting is an art. It's a lifestyle. It's a passion. Guys and gals of all ages in communities all across this great land of ours are designing and building street rods that deserve a thumbs up. Our mission, to find these works of art and showcase them so that this passion is never lost because street rotting is more than just a hobby. It's an addiction. This is Street Rotting American Style. It's a little low for my taste, but I can handle no, it. No, wait a minute, Chris. <laughs> what drew me to this car was because it sits low. It's perfect. It's got the perfect rake to it. You like it higher? Uh, just a little bit, because when you're driving down the road and you hit those bumps, I mean, it knocks you. So. Yeah, but yeah, it's kind of cool, though. you got to admit, it's kind of cool, it's right? It's cool. It's cool. That pressure cooker was so ingenious for an air filter. OK, where did you get that idea? Actually, it was a buddy of mine's idea and he started it and I finished it. Uh, we took a, actually a shotgun to it, if you can see. Okay, is that <laughs> see, it's got pits and the stuff. The pits are, yes. I look at the front of this thing and it's got this license plate that says Log Bender. Now I gotta know, man, this thing's bad rolling down the road. I know if I was driving, I'd probably be breaking some laws, breaking some rules. Are you bending the law on this thing, dude? Well, because of what I do, the fact that I'm a police officer, I don't what? exactly law break, but I might bend a few rules here and now there. Now we're talking, so. man, that's rad. This thing is cool, dude. When I say rat rod, is this full definition of rat rod or is this a nostalgic rod? What would you call this? I would call it a rat rod. It is a rat rod. Just what is your definition of a rat rod? A piece of crap. <laughs> Leroy, this engine, it's got to have the massive horsepower built into it. What do you think the horsepower is? About 15. Fi 1,500, not 15. Just let you know. 1,500 horse. Do you think about 1,500 horsepower on this thing? Oh, yeah. OK, gas mileage then. What do you think it is? What gas mileage? <laughs> you don't care. Four or five. If I wanted gas mileage, I would have bought a Prius. <laughs> Do you get a lot of questions about this thing? Yeah, and it's fun to watch the kids walk up to that hand and want to touch it. And their mom, <laughs> will go, don't, over. Their mom will go, don't touch that. <laughs> One of the big details, I think everybody notices when you come yeah. in, especially when they hear it, yeah. that supercharger. Yeah, the supercharger does make a little noise. 671? 671. Why'd you go 671? Why'd you even go supercharger? <laughs> Well, when I put those big tires on the back, I thought I'd have oh, to. <laughs> <laughs> Rat rods think outside the box. Yeah. They don't go with the same thing everybody else. Everybody puts their own personal spin on it. Yeah. So, you know, it's got a, a old whiskey bottle for an overflow. Well, yeah, you, know, you put your own personal spin on it right here with the oxygen yeah, bottle. Yeah, it's old, so I stuck an old oxygen bottle on it because, you know, it's so old it needs oxygen, just, you know, just to get down the road. <laughs> When Gary took the wheels off, we found out that the kingpin on one of the front tires wasn't even there. It wasn't there? No. You could have lost a tire? I could have, yeah. But you didn't care because you were passing semis. Well, I didn't really know what it meant at okay. the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, that wraps it up for Harrington, Kansas. It's an awesome day. We still got tons of awesome going on behind us. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy the action. Wish you were here, but now you guys know street riding is more than just a hobby. It's an addiction.